Hi, this is James Melendez, James the Wine Guy, here to share this bottle with you today. This is a bottle of Tabarini. It's a Montefalco Sagrantino 2005 vintage, and this is a Cole Gramadesco selection. Really a great sign of a good design is that I don't want to open this up. This is, I think, extremely well designed, and it's just one of these things where, yes, I do remind myself I can get another bottle. So it's a very familiar DOCG stamp here that this is a Montefalco wine, where Montefalco, by the way, is one of the few places in the world where you're going to find Sagrantino, though I know of two plantings in California. The majority of it is in Montefalco in Umbria, in Italy. So this wine, here's the back panel here. I was fortunate enough to meet the winemaker in Charlottesville, Virginia, at the Wine Bloggers Conference 2011. And his name is Gian Paolo Tavarini, and I do have a picture of him here. And just a splendid person. He was just absolutely energetic and fun. He was like the Gary V of winemakers. And maybe that's not fair because Gary V is Gary V and Gian Paolo is Gian Paolo. And uh, I, I found this to be just such a delightful experience. First of all, this wine, this Sagrantino is extremely complex. It is 15% alcohol content, but it's something that I'm not tasting a lot of heat on the beginning, which I would normally taste. Now, this wine is something that is just really highly acidic. It's gonna go with a variety of foods from vegan, vegetarian, fish, poultry, beef, lamb. It's the whole gamut. Now, I think a lot of people are going to choose to drink this with food alone. I prefer to drink this with definitely a, a little, by itself actually. I like that acid. I like the, um, the complexity of this wine and how it plays out. And yes, I talk about demystifying wine, which I think is really essential and important to understanding what, say for example, in this label, Montefalco and Sagrantino, what are these and how do they contribute to what this becomes? And I think the magical part, and I'm not talking about remystifying because I was at the conference and I heard Eric Asimov talk about remystifying wine. I think that's a wrong place to go. I think it's really to go back and think about demystifying so you understand and then finding the magical qualities of what this wine or other wines are to become. So I'll take a little taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Really profound acid structure. I'm getting a lot of notes on here, complex notes. Getting notes of blackberry, blueberry, acai, fennel, white mushroom, cardamom. And you get a little bit of heat on the finish, but not a lot. So, you know, there are things to, to be concerned about with high alcohol. And one, can the varietal take it? Is it going to pass through and all you're gonna taste is heat and not the fruit? Well, this is one where it's a success point where it's fine either way. And I, I think in some ways for me, this might be an aperitif wine, though it's so enjoyable, I'm gonna drink it at any given time during a meal. Now I give this one a 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale. And by the way, he does other Segrantinos, and uh, Gian Paolo that is. And he also does this uh, beautiful Pasito from Segrantino, which is really nice because it's not very sweet. It's one of these that just comes out to this mid-level of sweetness that is a definitive dessert wine, but it is really magical. So again, 9.2 out of a 10.0 scale, and we are gonna demystify each wine one bottle at a time, and please follow me on Facebook and I'm on Twitter, and uh, subscribe to my videos on YouTube. Salud.